New developments tonight out of 5A High School. Parents coming to ABC Action News once again concerned about fights happening on campus. The most recent brawl bringing in deputies and sending a teacher to the hospital. Our Heather Lee is sitting down with those worried parents tonight. That fight broke out last Thursday in the cafeteria with dozens and dozens of students watching. Parents we spoke to are not only concerned about their kids' safety, but how disruptive this is to their learning. A Pasco County school getting a bad reputation. Parents worried about what will happen next and if their child will be a target. Not just little scuffles, but huge fights, some that he's called riots where teachers are involved, there's blood on the walls, blood on the floors. Both of these parents choosing not to share their names to protect the identity of their children. This mother saying the fights are extremely disruptive. He said there's no point in being in school because he's not learning. We asked the district in September about the fights, which prompted the school's principal, Jason Jowens, to announce a new set of rules and disciplinary action. Parents are reminded in voicemails left by Jowens whenever a fight happens. But when I tell my son these things, he laughs because he said these kids who get in these fights are back at school the next day. The district says when a student is suspended, their parents have the right to appeal, which sometimes explains why their discipline is reduced. They also say they've identified and suspended 13 students. They're still getting in these fights. There's definitely not not a full level of respect there. Another parent shared a video with us of the most recent brawl that sent a teacher to the hospital after he pulled a muscle trying to get a student off of a table. We're not showing that video because we don't know who shot it. I think to hear from the SROs, what's triggering these fights? The district says parents who are concerned about the fights can attend the school advisory council. They meet the first Monday of every month at 5 p.m. In Pasco County, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.